Tiny Lane Garden is built like the rest of the series is built. It's, a, it's on an old quarry and that was turned into a landfill and we've regenerated it to become an organically certified garden. This community food system supplies education services to all kinds of um, schools, to volunteers. We have children coming here with their primary schools, learning about where the food comes from. And it doesn't come from plastic bags in the supermarket. Adults coming here to learn how to organically garden in their backyard. High school students coming and doing their vet certificates in horticulture, learning how to become urban farmers. We have another market garden, two kilometres up the road, and it's a, it's a heritage 160 year old market garden. It's about a hectare, two and a half acres, that's been farmed continuously since Melbourne existed. It's on the banks of the Mary Creek on beautiful alluvial soils, and we have um, two full-time farmers down there and numerous volunteers, school groups, corporates come down there to do their day out of the office on the farm. Getting your food locally from our garden means that it gets harvested and it's just taken up to the market, up to the top of the cafe, a couple of hundred metres away from me. And we really want to continue that tradition of farming in the city and showing that it's possible. sells locally harvested foods, um, also supports local organic and biodynamic farmers and we also support the social enterprise here at Ceres, a food project called Seven Stars. So in the food purchasing policy we have to buy a food that's produced locally, organically, that's GM free and fair trade um, and that tries to minimise packaging as much as possible. important for people to be informed and know how far their food's travelled. By choosing to buy food that's locally produced, that's organic and so you can sort of make less of an impact on the environment. Choosing to buy foods in bulk also makes a big difference and minimises packaging. Part of the market is the community kitchen and out of there operates a food project called Seven Stars um, and so it's using excess fruit and veg that's um, harvested the series and producing things like dips and preserves that we can then sell in the shop. Every Saturday there's an enterprise here called the Urban Orchard Project made up of volunteers and they come and swap excess fruit and vegetable from their gardens. The Urban Orchard Project helps reduce food miles, um, it also helps stop food wastage because um, people are swapping their excess produce and it brings the community together, you get to meet people that you probably wouldn't, normally wouldn't be able to meet. shop um, provides the marketplace for people to be able to come and buy locally produced foods so they can have access to it and because we have music and a nice kind of scene here everyone can relax and socialize and get to know other members of the community Series Nursery has a focus on edible gardens, so um, encouraging people to grow their own vegetables and fruits. Um, we have a really good range of organic veggies, um, lots of unusual fruit trees, berries, so just trying to encourage people to grow their own food. Staff at the nursery are qualified in horticulture and also permaculture, that's a really big focus for us. 
Um, yes, a lot of us have really good experience with growing food gardens. As part of our purchasing policy, we offer some fertilisers in bulk. We also offer um, a range of organic um, manures, composts. We can also advise you on organic solutions for your pest and disease problems with an emphasis on permaculture principles. The nursery promotes permaculture because it makes such good sense. It is a way of working uh, with nature rather than against it, but it's about so much more than gardening as well. It's really a sort of set of ethics that you can take into your life um, and beyond. It's about using energy wisely, caring for people, caring for the earth and using your fair share. We offer a range of different courses, organic vegetable gardening workshops, uh, bush food workshops and also a um, permaculture design certificate course. Growing bush foods in your garden is a really good way to incorporate some native plants into your food garden. There's lots of uh, indigenous, so locally native um, food plants that have an edible component. Plants like island celery, warrigal greens, native raspberries, they can all be easily grown. A lot of them are very low water use, um, which, yeah, just assists, um, you know, with adding a bit of diversity to your food garden. Also, a lot of the indigenous plants are not as widely planted now, so it's quite important to grow them to aid biodiversity in the area.